what's up, family? Don't give up on life. You haven't experienced all that life has to offer you. Are you making account for right now? Are the hardships, the storms, and the troubling, the pain, and everything that 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 you've experienced, possibly from childhood? Don't let your past steal your future away from you. There is still much more life to live. There is still much more that life has to offer you. No, it's not going to be perfect all the time. No, it's not going to go your way all the time. It doesn't go my way. It doesn't go any one way all the time. And not all the time things are well. And fighting through those hardships is does something special inside of us. And when we get on the other side of it, it's like a feeling of relief. It's like a sense of I've arrived to a place of of comfort, to a place of peace, to a place of happiness and joy. But we don't have to wait until we get through those struggles. We can have peace in the midst of the storm. We can have happiness in the pit in the midst of the storm. We still have joy in the midst of the of the storm. The difference is when we reached this place of peace, comfort, joy, and happiness when we're on vacation and, you know, something like that. We're looking at the beach. We're, we're, we're feeling the, the, the wind blowing through our hair. It's like just the scenery. It's like the, it, it just provides like a whole nother level of, of, of this euphoria, if you will, what people call it. But that's external. It helps with how we feel inside. It helps us feel like finally, right? It's what's going on around us in those moments that does something for us internally. When we're looking at around us, it's like this is like the perfect weather. This is like the perfect place. This is like the the perfect time. Like it's it, it's it's that thing that that really does something special for us within. On the flip side, when we go through the storms of life. Just like when we are on vacation or something like that, we're looking at the things that we're going through. We're looking at what's going on around us. And it's doing something to us internally. It's affecting us negatively internal, right? The peace, the root, the core, it's internal. We allow the things that we go through in life, the things that we are experience, good or bad, change how we truly feel inside. It, it's a distraction to how, to how we are supposed to feel inside in terms of something negative going on around us in our lives that's affecting us negatively internal. What I'm saying is that peace, it's inside of you. That joy, it's inside of you. That happiness, it's inside of you. That comfort, it's inside of you. Try to come to a place where you no longer allow what goes on around you to steal your joy, to steal your peace. 
to steal your happiness. It's yours. And the word is said that says the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come to give life and give it more abundantly. So if if we can be in a situation to where it steals our peace, it steals our joy, it steals our comfort, who do you think is behind that? Or maybe he may not be behind it. It's just we are turning over that thing that belonged to us to to that situation to that person who's behind it we have to take what's ours that peace that joy and happiness we have to protect it we have to protect our heart we have to protect our mind we have to protect our emotions to the best of our ability and hold on to that knowing in the storm that you may be going through right now it's like you know what this is my peace this is my happiness this is my joy i am going to hold on to this until i get through this this is just a season of my life this is only a season this season will soon pass by but this peace this joy and happiness it's mine it's forever That same joy, peace, and happiness that you feel when you are on vacation, yes, it's hard to tap into that when you're going through it. But what's that vacation, that's not giving you happiness. That's not giving you joy. That's not giving you peace. It's only helping you tap into what's inside of you. It's helping you tap into what already belongs to you is helping you tap into accessing that in which you already have. Life is full of ups and downs. If we are affected mentally, emotionally, if we are affected in terms of our joy, our peace, and our happiness based on where we are in the roller coaster of life, we would never be truly happy. We would never be truly at peace. We would never truly have joy because we're allowing circumstances and situations. We're really allowing what's external to take control of what we have, what we supposed to have control of. Let's work on coming to a place to where it's, I may not be as happy right now because it's a struggle. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get through this. I have to figure out what decisions I need to make. I need to make sure this. I need to make sure that. So it's like, let that be the focal point of what you need to do to get out of it. What we need to do to get through it. Opposed to just turning over our peace, our joy and happiness to that thing, to that circumstance, to that situation to that relationship, to that business, whatever it is that still what's inside of us, we need to make sure that we are protecting that at all costs and say, you know what? This is mine. This is my life. I am going to enjoy. I am going to make sure that I make the best of every situation, no matter the highs no matter the lows. I am going to try my best to make the best of all of it. Some days may not be as good. Some days may not be the best. But you know what? It's my day. So I'm going to do everything I, I can to control my day and what's in it with what's in my control. So my peace, my joy, and my happiness, I have control over that. Why? Because it's mine. 
So I'm going to make sure that I'm holding on to it, I'm tapping into it, and I'm operating in it. So no matter what's going on around me, I can enjoy even in the midst of my storms because I know this isn't forever. I'm going through it because I'm going somewhere. And until I arrive, I am going to make sure that I'm protecting my peace, my joy, and my happiness because it's mine. It does not belong to you. It doesn't belong to anyone else. It doesn't belong to anything else. It's mine. So enjoy even in the toughest season as much as you can. It's not going to be perfect every day. It's not going to go right every day. Some days it's going to be phenomenal. Some days not so much. But make sure whether the highs or the lows, make sure you are in tune with your peace, your joy, and your happiness. And so when you get to that place, that vacation, then you can really, really enjoy. But remember, that vacation is just helping you tap in, into what you already have inside of you. So remember to remember to always access your your peace, your joy, and your happiness regardless of the setting, regardless of the time of the day, regardless of who, who's around you, regardless of the circumstance. Why? Because that peace, that joy, and the happiness belongs to you. So live in it as much as you possibly can, especially through the tough seasons, because the good seasons are going to come. And I know you're probably going to be ready to, to turn up but once you come in tune with yourself, even in the toughest season, you still grabbing a hold and you protecting and you're living in that peace, that joy, and the happiness. Life have so much more to offer. Even if you get the best of life, if you're not living inside your peace, your joy, and your happiness, you'll miss the experience all that life has to offer. So get in the practice, get in the habit, get in the lifestyle of living your peace, joy, and your happiness. So even when things aren't great, you can still enjoy the experience. Until you can truly, truly enjoy the experience of much more that life has to offer. You hang in there. You don't give up. You deserve much more. And you have to make sure that you get to that place of much more. You may not feel like you're living in it right now. You are. It's just a rough patch right now. You'll get through it. You're a fighter. You're a warrior. You've been dealing with this all this time. And you're still here. You are a warrior. I need you to fight. A little while longer. And when you get to that place. When you get to that point. You'll be like man wow I can't believe I got here. I can't believe that it, it was possible. I can't believe it was something more. I can't believe it was something brighter. I can't believe my future was better. I, I, I had no idea. I don't know how I got here. And we can say it was because of Jesus. So praise him, glorify him in the process. But don't you give up because he's not done with you yet because you're still breathing. He's taking you somewhere. Unfortunately, this is just a part of the process. But it's, it's birthing something beautiful inside of you. Remember to tap into, access, and live in your peace, your joy, and happiness.
no matter what season you're in. And then you can truly, when you get to that point and place where we get to that point and place, because I'm not there yet, we can we can then truly enjoy all of life, good and bad. You hang in there. You got this. Much love. Peace.